guys, it's Alex, and this is part five, four. This is part four of my uh, Road to Two Bill merching series. Um, it was another good day yesterday. I guess the weekends are just good for uh, Galicia. There's a lot of people in the free market. Um, for some of you bigger worlds, it might actually be like that all the time. So I'm kind of jealous. But anyway, this first trade here. Um, I was buying chairs and work gloves again yesterday. I was spamming for it. And uh, this guy had the Dragon Inferno chair. And um, I don't know. He he was trying to get like 300 for it or something like that. And he also had some work gloves that I was planning on buying. Um, so I basically just talked him down the entire time. Uh, he was... I don't know. He it sucked to trade with this guy because he really didn't want to sell them um, for cheap. But I don't know. I could have made an entire video just on this one this one trade because he uh, he took. I think it was like a seven minute trade, and I sped it up to two hundred and fifty percent right here. So maybe it was like an eight minute trade. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, there's a little bit more negotiation. Uh, terms that you could use, like you can tell them that if they don't have a shop, then they won't sell the sell the items, or you can tell them that like prices have gone down and all that. And when someone tries to use Basil Market as uh, their justification for like a high price, then if you know what Basil Market is, just go ahead and I don't know, tell them that Basil is false or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I did in this trade. Yeah, right here. Um, well, maybe not right here because the audio and video might be off, but hopefully right here. Um, yeah. So, anyway, took me forever, but this guy eventually trades me his uh, his dragon chair and his work glove. Um, where I said when I told him that I wasn't gonna force him to trade, and he still stayed that told me that he did want the money so you can try that with someone if they're taking a really long time just tell say like I'm not gonna force you or something like that and if they stick around then it might be worth your time um, because you know if they if they really wanted to leave then they would have left when when you told them to pretty much so um, there's not much else to say about this particular trade I was looking for more items to throw in and give this guy uh, but I didn't really have much. Luckily, he took it anyway. Um, so someone said to watch out for merching chairs, like watch out about uh, merching chairs, and I pr I kind of agree. Like if you're gonna be merching chairs, make sure you buy only popular slash rare ones. Like a lot of people trade me to buy pink zakum chairs, and I don't really buy them because they're just they're so common that I don't really. Uh, I don't want to sit with a pink zakum chair in my shop forever. Like the whole idea of merching is to buy them for low, but sell them faster. Like sell sell things quickly. So you don't want to buy really um, uncommon like items that nobody buys. Like pink zakum chair, barog chair, um, any any relatively ugly chair. People don't buy those. Um, and then some chairs are just too common. Like don't buy maple tree chairs obviously um, and even like palm tree beach chairs even though they should be expensive they're not just because a lot of people have them so that's it for chairs um, this trade I bought a GFA 60% for 6 mil sell it for 10 it's just a little bit of quick profit um, <coughs> GFAs are always pretty good to sell um, just because the price stays pretty constant around 10 mil at least for our, my server and then it might be higher for you or whatever um, and then once again I'm buying some 10 attack work gloves here the best best attack work glove to buy is 10 attacks um, whether they're crafted or not it doesn't really matter too much it doesn't affect the price that much but once again don't buy potted work gloves and don't buy enhanced work gloves um, and also as I learned today even if you have like a good work glove, don't buy hammered ones because people are uh, people are so stupid about hammered work gloves. It's ridiculous. 
Um, so I get these 10 attacks for 180 mil. I always sell them for 230, so it's quick profit really, uh, around 50 mil. And um, yeah, as you can see here, I sold the 10 attacks for 230, sold the dragon chair for 300. So um, I bought the dragon chair and the gloves for 350. So anything over 50 mil is is what I gained from that trade. And right here. I sell them for 150 mil to this Mercedes girl, and I think she was a merchant, so it kind of sucks because she's gonna have a hard time selling that. But anyway, so from that seven-minute trade or whatever, I profited 100 mil, so that's good. And then uh, right here, one of my subscribers um, traded me, so shout out to you, I suppose. Um, and he sold me some Miraculous Chaos and AEEs. The Miraculous Chaos, uh, they sell pretty quick, but I don't know if I recommend buying uh, Advanced Equip Enhances anymore because I still have like four or five of them. Um, but yeah, so he wanted to shout out Michael and Steven, so if you guys are watching, then shout out to you guys. Um, then that's pretty much that. And uh, next trade I do is for a Miraculous Chaos Scroll and um, this guy he wanted 15 so I kind of just <laughs> I kind of just let him sit at 15 um, I tried to meet him halfway but he wouldn't do it and so um, I just cancelled trade um, I thought about putting it up and I just cancelled trade um, and then if you let them sort of sit on it for a while a lot of times like you see, you can still see him in the bottom, bottom right down there. He's still selling it. So a lot of times, people will, um, people will retrade you after they can't sell the item for like another couple minutes or whatever. So that's exactly what he did. Retrades me, and he wants my price for it. If you want to be a douche, when they retrade you, you can try to go lower. But I don't really like to uh, rip people off too much when I'm merching. Well, anyway, um, so. This guy, this is the uh, the 12 attack work gloves. Well, I didn't tell you that they were 12, but anyway, these are 12 attack work gloves. They're hammered once. The scroll works, so they should be like uh, same price as 10 attacks, if not more expensive. But I still can't sell them. They just won't sell. Um, I don't know why. People are just stupid. But yeah, anyway. So that's about it for this episode, guys. I'm at, I'm at like 724 mil with those work gloves left. So when they sell, I'll be probably at around 940 or 950. And uh, we're almost halfway there, so I'll make a new episode soon. I'm trying to merch as much as I can, and uh, that's it. So thumbs up and favorite if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't, and uh, see you for the next one.